All right, guys, it's four o'clock in the morning and we're making the trip back home. finished driving it's about 11 30 so I drove for about seven hours so I drove through South Carolina North Carolina and Virginia and now Allie is picking up we just have the last little bit of Virginia to go through and I think Allie's gonna knock off Maryland Delaware some New Jersey and then I'll finish up depending on how she's feeling or whatever she wants uh, it went pretty well there's actually a lot of people on the road giving, given the conditions, uh, but we were really good about only stopping once for gas and like not going in anywhere. We planned it out that my car has about a 400 mile tank, so we, we only needed to stop once. We filled up in Charleston with like a ton of gas, like topped it off, and we made it all the way to Northern Virginia without uh, filling up. So yeah, it was a really good seven hour push, and now we have like the last six hours or so. so. We got up early, we got, uh, we made a lot of progress, and now Ali's gonna take us home. All right guys, we just got home from a super long trip. I ended up actually driving around 11 of the 13 hours we left at 4.20, 4.30 in the morning, and right now it is 5.31 at night. Uh, we got in at 5.30, but I was feeling really tired, because, uh, Al yeah, Allie was supposed to drive for a few hours, which she did, which was awesome, but I think she was pretty tired, because, you know, part of leaving is, like, saying goodbye to your friends, and she stayed up a little later than I did, so I ended up driving, like, a bulk. It has me really drained, so, uh, I went for a run, just ran around the block, get the blood pumping. I think the human body to be happy it needs to move. So uh, I kind of forced myself to work out and I've been slacking. I did some flashcards, like you can see, there's a picture of me actually, I fell asleep reading my flashcards one night while I was down there. But most of the time we were just kind of hanging out and it was almost like a little vacation. I definitely need to get back on the grind, get back uh, working towards my goals because that's been such an important part of uh, my daily daily life so far So right now I'm gonna get back to doing some flexibility I'm gonna do about like 10 minutes of stretching and then I'm probably gonna relax the, the rest of the night But tomorrow we are back. We are gonna be surfing We are gonna be studying and we are gonna be on the journey to dunking So make sure to subscribe because our goals are getting closer and we're going to reach them All right guys, so there's actually a fourth goal I have, or I have many goals, but there's one goal I have that I haven't shared with you. I wanna be number one in my medical school class of 2024. 
And I'm kind of embarrassed to put that out there because I think like, who am I to be number one? Like I was far from number one at Holy Cross and people in med school are way smarter and uh, you know, whatever, more intelligent than me and have more uh, background in medicine. But I think that setting goals is so important and it's almost more important if you just stick to the goal and like working to it than if you actually achieve it. For example, in uh, college, my three goals going into college were apply junior year to med school. So I'd malcriculate straight through without a year number two. Uh, Brown, get accepted into Brown Medical School and then get a 4.0. And obviously I failed at all three of those but I worked every day as if I was gonna achieve those. I put in as much effort as I could. I put in the work necessary to get to those goals. And even though I didn't get there, I, I, am, <clears throat> I am now in a really good position because I just spent the time working to the goal and didn't worry about whether or not I'd get there. I just spent all my dedication and all my hard work was just towards those goals. So I think I'm gonna put that out there that I wanna be number one in my medical school class. And when I was driving alone and my sister was asleep, I just kept counting in my head because I couldn't listen to music and I didn't want to wake her up. But this time I just started saying some positive affirmations. I just said, you know, every few miles I would just say 10 times over, I will be number one in my medical school class of 2024. I will be number one in my medical school class of 2024. And I just repeated to myself. And I think that's important, the law of attraction, really important to put it out there. And <clears throat> I think that's just 1% of it. I think the other 99% is working really hard, performing, and you know, d having dedication towards the activity. But yeah, that's my goal, and every day I'm working to achieve that. I wanna be number one, and I wanna act like I'm number one. I wanna live a lifestyle that puts me at number one. And whether I achieve that or not, I think being fully dedicated to that and not even trying to be number two, just trying to be number one, will put me in a good position in four years from now. So yeah, those are my goals, and we hopefully there's some waves tomorrow. We'll see you then.